Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Gothic 2, The Night of the Raven. After killing off some scavengers and meeting Greg back here at the tavern, the dead harpy, which we can now rest in for free, because we were an acrimony ring of Lares, and they think we're part of the ring of the water, we are now going to go outside here and kill some more scavengers. Because, you know, leveling up is important. I've got one of them. I've got both of them, which we don't want at this point. Oh no, Greg's coming over to help me. Quickly! Oof! There's another load. No, don't kill it! It's mine! Get away, Greg! No! It's my scavenger! Wow, okay, the farmer also came out. That was not fair. This was my kill. Ah, oh well. I guess 70 XP are not going to kill me. Ah, we need at least 2,000 to level up anyway, so... It's not that big of a deal. How it sucks in the beginning to lose XP like that. Because everyone thinks like, Oh well, there's some evil monsters. We need to attack them. Durr. Oh well happens, I suppose. Anyway, down here are some wolves, which we don't want to attack right now. So, for the time being, we want to go back to Corinus. Because, first off, we want to get some more money. And, secondly, we like to increase our attributes. Since we're already back to 10 learning points, we can use that time to do this pretty well for the moment. Our armor is strong enough for the time being, it's probably not a big deal if we get a little bit more though. But I'm struggling to think that if the leather belt is actually worth it at this point. It increases magic, and no, not magic, um, weapons and projectile resistance by 10 each because it gives a bonus. Uh, plus 5 on the actual attributes. Normally gives only plus 5, plus 5. But with the leather armor you will get plus 10 each in total. So that's always nice. Uh, wait, actually. Before we go back to Karinis, how about we take a look up here? Hmm? That would be a well-placed adventure. First off, because we get some digger meat and some mushrooms, which is never a bad idea at this point. And secondly, because we can talk to these two guys here. Hey, you! What's up? It's been a long time since we've seen a stranger on our land who didn't want to skin us. I'm not going to I skin hope you. I'm not wrong about you. I'm Agil. And the strange bird over there is my brother, Anim. How's the field work going? Great. If those miserable field raiders weren't constantly destroying our harvest... I guess they do. Why don't you do anything about the field raiders? You're joking. Since I've been on this farm, I've killed so many of the beasts that I've lost count. But alas, new ones keep coming. Right, so this is Edgel. And his brother over there... His name is Adam. Hey. So how about we talk to him? Who are you? My name is Anim. I'm one of the field hands. And the half part over there is my brother Egil. We've been working here on the farm for Akil for several years. All right. How's the field work going? Do you want to help? There's another hole back there. No, thank Down you. And then head for the field. You just have to make no sure that for me the today. field raiders don't surprise you. They'll tear your arm right off with one bite. You do know I actually killed some field Why raiders already. Why don't you do anything about the field raiders? I've killed more of them than I can count. The only problem is they keep coming back. That's right. Your brother told me the same. What? That loafer? He always loafer? Gold bread? <laughs> okay, sometimes this is like really not nonsense. well translated. <laughs> or rather it doesn't fit to the text there. Which is unfortunate. Wait a minute. So we can go back between the brothers. Your brother tells a similar story. Ah, what exactly does he say? that he has also done away with plenty of field raiders. What? That loser can't even find his way home by himself. Wow. Tell him he shouldn't brag like that. Well, he's being 
a douche. And he's some kind of, like, bragging too much. Hey, you! So, what's he gonna do now? Your brother thinks you're a braggart. What? He's actually got the nerve to say that? He'd better watch out or I'll teach him a lesson. Go and tell him that. Well, alright. I guess you will notice already where this is going to go to end. Hmm? Enem is a bit irritated about this Irritated? Thing. He shouldn't puff himself up so much. Else I'll tear his head off. Tell him that. Wow, they're not really that well received brothers, are they? They don't like each other too much, do they? Hey, you. I think the two of you should just relax. The bastard didn't give in, am I right? I'll Neither of you did. Guts. Tell him that. How about Why don't you tell him yourself? Indeed. I'll do that. And now we can watch them battle each other out. So, and we're gonna keep on watching here and see who's gonna win. Because they're all trying to do is keep a running attack. And whoever loses is gonna be the unfortunate one that we're gonna loot. Like so. Well, also we're gonna pick up his weapon. I think I'll take your weapon. No, that's mine. Wait a minute. Do you want to cause even more trouble? I think it would be better if you left now. I will do that gladly. First of because I got 50 XP. Secondly because I got 11 gold, and thirdly because I got a new weapon that oh. I can sell later on. So everything is well and fine. Some flowers over here that we gladly are going to pick up. And then we're going to draw our bow, because we can see there's some giant rats over here. And of course we would like to kill those giant rats, because I don't like giant rats. That's the first one. Alright. We're done. Rats are dead. And there's nothing else to collect here. Now, what you should know about, though, if you go a little bit further here, you will have some scavenger. I'm gonna let him come down to us first. And I'm over here. And also, I got stuck in the corner so I couldn't attack. It's a little bit sad. And he's dead though now as well. Also over here are some field raiders, so be careful where you step right now. Because you don't want like two or three field raiders to be up your butt. There's over another scavenger that we would like to attack. Go back. That was a little bit closer than I imagined, but we went through it, and we survived as well, which is much more of a deal. Right, mushroom time, because I believe if we eat enough of these this time around, we might be able to get some mana power up, let's see. Maybe? There we go, mana plus five. And we're going to eat a uh, fish soup. How about that? Also, another fish. So we're completely healed up right now. So right now we have a stone table of archery, a stone table of crossbow, two of live energy, one, and one of magic. And of course a map, which indicates the places where we can find a piece of the ornament. One is very close by, the second one is near the farm of Lobart, and the third one is close to the farm of Onar, if I recall that correctly. So, 
Onar's one would be the right hand sided one, where there's a big farm and all that stuff. Left one is Lobard's one, what's close to the city. And the third one is right up in the north, where we can go later on. Right now, we would like to do the following. We would like to go over to this side here. There's a wolf, actually. Only, hopefully, one wolf. Good. Now, in here... You will find out that there is a cave, or rather more than a cave, but some people. And trust me if I say that you do not want these people to get angry with you. You're in for it now. One of them is drawing a weapon, the second one is drawing a weapon. And right now we just want to get up here. Hello! Oh, ow. Well, we can draw our bow. And we can just shoot them in the face. Do notice, by the way, that we do get so damage, so that was life. actually very clumsy. Hmm. Oh well. Guess that wasn't too bad of a thing to happen. Because for some particular reason, I was there on the wrong side. Normally this works out pretty well. You're in for it now. Oh, we didn't hit him. Aw, oh, too sad. Right, we gonna jump... Whoa! That was very close! Stop right there, you lowlife! Who's the lowlife? You're the bandit! I'm at least the one who beats demons in the butt. Uh oh. Oh, well, he hit us. Oh. Ah! With the back to the cliff, that's not a good idea. Not a good one at all. I didn't hit him either way, and I again. Let's go a little bit to the left side here, and then jump up. All right. Oh, almost got me. Oh, that's a special bandit. So that could be difficult to deal with. Oh, two of them is bad. Three of them is extremely bad. I can only survive this probably by jumping down now. Oh, one of them is getting stuck in the wall. Which is quite nice, honestly. Because <laughs> that saved me probably from dying here. Kill it! Yes! Lovely. Also, you will notice, if you look a little bit ahead here, that there's an orc there, on the bottom left corner, striding around. Nothing to be had there. Good thing is, now we killed a Nothing bunch there. of bandits, and got some points for that, and also, we get a normal bow, and a lot of arrows. Some beer as well, and a silver ring, which we can sell later on. and a spare arrow that just lies around somewhere here. And before the game decides to crash or anything, 
we are going to make sure that we do not die here. No matter what will await us on the other side. Right now we're pretty happy because there's a sheepskin over here. Some wine. Some more wine. And a chest. And in there is some gold. A fish. And a weird looking fish. You might think, well, a weird looking fish, what are you going to do with that? And a pretty simple solution for that. Because indeed this fish is containing a message. And this message reads... Stop all men who come from the mountains. If someone comes all the pass... Oh, well, that was the wrong message. Stinking note. The one. Keep your heads low, guys. The militia's getting suspicious. Don't do anything until you hear from me again. That's what the message says. And it's a pretty unimportant message, you would think. However, since we only know a few people in town that actually sell fish at this point, we're going to go to the one person that does sell fish in town that we know of. And of course, that is one of the guys down at the harbour. So, we're going to take a little bit of a visit down to that guy and talk to him about that very obvious message. I mean, surely he's going to repay us for that. Whatever that might be in this case. We shall find out. For now, we have nothing that we want to do up here. I want to go down. Back to Karenis. And we will also note that we are pretty close to another level up, but we need some more kills and some more experience by just wandering around and killing stuff. Also, we might want to join one of the factions. However, the monastery is pretty much out of our reach for now, because we need a thousand gold for that and a sheep. And the sheep also costs, of course, gold. So that's probably not going to happen quite soon. What we can do is we could either join the mercenaries or we could join the militia. But I don't want to join any of the factions yet because I can't do the faction specific quests after that to join them, so to speak. So if I'm going to join the militia right now, I won't be able to do the mercenary quests that just give some random experience, which would be quite nice to do at this point. So. We are going to go down to the harbour for a second. And then we're going to talk to the fish merchant down there. I'm going to go this way, actually. Makes it a little bit easier to go down. I'm thinking about training dexterity perhaps this time around. So we can get a little bit of better lockpick skill, so our lockpicks don't break too much. Let's jump. Also, before we go to the merchant, we're going to talk to Garvel here. What are you doing here? I'm building a ship because I want oh, to get out of here. Oh no, it doesn't look anything like a ship. But the way it looks right now, this ship will never be finished. So. Why are you in such a hurry? Soon the orcs will come and burn down the city. Well, we've got a you think that? buttload of paladins here, so... the paladins running around everywhere? Why do you think they're here? They're here to protect you. Here because the orcs will attack soon, and that won't be pretty. No, orcs attacking is never pretty. Why can't you finish your ship? Oh, we have thousands of problems. The hull still isn't stable, and it's still missing a lot of boards. Um. But I have hardly any gold left to buy new material with, and the last delivery had bugs in it. That's My bad. My boys don't work productively. One wants a fast ship above all else, the other one is worried about the figurehead. As if we didn't have more important things to do. I'm just gonna say oh, that about stable ships, this one is just a wreckage right now. That this will delay the construction even more. All right. Can I help you somehow? Yes, you can. Find out what the paladins are planning. I want to know why they're here. 
and I have to know if the orcs will attack and how far from the city they are. One of the bastards was even seen outside the city. Yep, we killed one Just already. Bring me all the information you can get. I need to know how much time I have left to finish the boat. Not a lot. What's going on at the harbor? The orcs are breathing down our necks and you're asking about the harbor? Calm down, really man. I just wanted to the know. The problem we have is that there aren't enough ships in the harbor to get us out of here. To be honest, there's only one ship here and that belongs to the paladins. They certainly won't let us get out of here with that. Probably not. You're one worker short? Yes. His name is Monty. He's vanished into thin air. That lazy pig is probably living the high life on a farm. Oh, probably high life in the farm. In I guess you never worked a farm, did you? When was the last time you saw Monty? He hasn't bothered to show up for work for at least two days. Well, really, two days. That's a lot of days. I've heard that other people have gone missing too. Indeed. Just what I'm saying. That's where the evil starts. Farron, the fisherman, told me something similar. His buddy William is no longer around. He's not. I bet that the orcs are behind Why would the orcs capture humans? Where can I find this Farron? He's a fisherman. I think that his hut is near the provision store of the paladin, but I don't know for sure. Really? You work here for days, months, years even, and you don't even know where this fisherman is. I am very disappointed at you. Very disappointed. Anyway, we are going to go over to that fisherman cellar. Hey, you. No. Where you going? No I matter what don't your plans care. are, there'll be plenty of time later. No. You're right in front of the Pearl of Corinus. The Red Lantern. I guess you don't have another thing that called the Green Lantern, right? Britanna, damn it. That would be pretty strange. From the most remote corners of the world, dock here just to spend a few nights in the Red Lantern. Nope. And now, it's you who has the chance, nay, the honor, of spending a night with Nadia, the most passionate flower of the gods. Come on in, and you're going to experience what others cannot even dream of. I have to admit, the ball cost voice actor from the English version is much more passionate than the German one. That was actually pretty well done, honestly. So, hello. Hey, do you need fish? No, fish I don't need here, fish. Fresh from the depths of the sea. That's not what I heard. Yeah, that's probably where fish normally is found, you know. If they would be on land, I would make myself very, very much of a thought about that. Can you tell Can you me tell something, me something, something about, that? about those missing people? Missing people? This is a harbor, pal. Things like that are bound to happen. Really? She is treacherous and bound to claim a life now and then. Well, what is that accent? Can't place that. Large vessels will always sign on new sailors in a large seaport such as Corinis to complete their cruise. And if they don't find any volunteers, some people may get dragged off against their will, and then they're gone. Is that a little bit of French in there? I can't really figure that one out. Are you missing someone? Me? No. Do you know of anyone who's gone missing? No idea. Ask the shipbuilders. Hmm, maybe yes. What ship would that have been? Good question. Not many ships have come into Corinus lately. That is true. One, to be exact. The Paladins. But, how about this one? this piece of paper belongs to you. What? Let me see. That's an open secret. Whoops. Uh, okay. Let's stay calm about this. Uh, listen, I have resold the goods I got from the bandits. But there's no reason to take this straight to the militia, right? I'm sure we can come to an understanding, can't we? So, what is your proposal, then? These are bad times. Make me an offer, then. Alright, I'll tell you something. I can sell you more than just fish. Oh, really? If you hand me this ridiculous piece of paper and uh, forget about the matter, uh, you and I can become the best of trading partners. That sounds about right. So... Oh, really? What kind of goods would those be? 
Well, I can offer you uh, quite special fish. You see, not just plain ones for eating. Special you ones, mean like okay. the one that contained your hidden message? That's not what You've like. got it. I have several of those fish. Okay. Very well. All right, it's a deal. I think we can keep this little matter between ourselves. Thank you. Just drop in next time you happen to be in the vicinity. I'm bound to have some interesting things for you. All right. Show me your fish. Yes, show me your fish. A bowl-shaped fish, a heavy fish, a small fish, and a light fish. I'm gonna just pick these four up. Because in those four fish, we find some special items. The first one will be... Three lockpicks. The second one will be... A ring. The third one contains 50 gold, and the fourth one contains a lump of ore. Or, very important, to smith some good weapons later on, so keep that for you. Also, this is a ring of flame protection that we can wear right now, which is never a bad idea. Also, we're going down here now to talk to the fisherman. Also, if you wonder yourself, this thing here, or rather... Yeah, I believe, actually, this island over there got a special thing for us much, much later in the game. You will find out that that region is going to be a very interesting one, for sure. Also, we're going to pick up these clams here. They're in the water right now. I don't think there's any over here. They can contain pearls, so you want to pick them up if you can find some. And here's some dead fish. And another clam. And that's it, I believe. Another fish. Uh, let's talk to Ferrum. You're a fisherman? No. Now, how did you ever guess that? Yes. Can't you simply leave me alone? I Don't could, but personal, I wouldn't please. get any information. I there. haven't been too happy lately. It's that militia. Trouble with the militia? Those bastards keep coming here and taking whatever they want. Last week, they made off with my entire catch. It's for a good cause, they said. Oh, of course they were. I know that everybody's got to fend for himself since the farmers have stopped trading. And of course, Some of sometimes them. people just go hungry. Small wonder that they're snatching the fish from right under my nose. But if they keep doing this, I won't even have enough to feed myself. All right. Have you talked to the paladins about this? <laughs> Are you joking? Do you really think they'd be interested if a poor devil like me has his problems with the militia? Well, if the people aren't happy, the paladins can't Maybe be. I can help you. I don't know. I suppose you'd have to know somebody from the militia who has connections to the paladins. The paladins will hardly buy the fish from me. Probably I not. I shall see what I can do. Can you tell me something about the missing people? My friend William started hanging out with a bunch of shady characters. And where did it get him? One day he simply didn't show up for work. And that's the last we saw of him. Your buddy William has disappeared? He did. So he has. He's a fisherman, but a little too big for his boots, I should add. <laughs> he should have right. stayed well away from that bunch. When did you last see him? Only a few days ago. Well, that was a short one. Maybe he just went out to see the fish. That's not very likely. His boat is still moored in the harbor. All right. What's he been up to? William had some shady dealings with those crooks. I think it was all about contraband that he sold to the bastards. What bastards would that is be? a very good question. I don't know who they are or what their business is here in Corinus. I only know the place where they met up with William. Only I just that. happened to see William there when I was fishing in the bay. Where exactly is that meeting place? There's a bay opposite the harbor north of here. You can only reach it by boat or swim. Well, I guess we're gonna swim there, then. And a small fishing camp. That's where I saw them. All right. I think I've heard enough. Spare yourself the effort. I don't believe you'll find him. We shall see. 
So, that's a little bit of information towards that missing people stuff that we were getting told from Vatra that we should solve. Basically, we have to go to that bay that uh, Farim told us about so that we can find more out about this. For the moment, however, we want to talk to the guy over there. His name is Mark. Hey, you. You have no business over here. Only paladins and those of us in the militia have access here. I guess so. What's up here, then? This is the provisions store of the Royal Guard of the Paladins. They keep provisions outside, near a tree. I am the provisions really? Master here, and I'm Why would you do such a thing? Not build a warehouse around it or anything. Astray, and you're not wanted here. So keep your hands to yourself or I'll chop them off. I don't want to do anything here. Can you sell me any of the Paladin stuff? You want to buy? Hmm. Let's say that if you could compensate me for the trouble that will arise from the Paladin's things wandering off, then we might be able to do business. So I guess that Does means that happen yes. Often? Hmm? Things going astray? As long as the provisions master says that everything is right, no. <laughs> well. I see. Tharim the fisherman has problems with the militia. The boys are constantly stealing from him. And what do I have to do with it? You have a certain amount of influence up here with the paladins. Did you do, Morton? Farum needs your protection. He's willing to give you a part of his catch for it. I see what you mean. Fish. As if I didn't have enough crap to deal with. Well, Tell your pal you're the provisions master, so exactly come on. With the militia. I'll take care of it. All right, Morton. What do you have to offer? Then pay attention. All right, let's see what he has to offer. A master sword, which requires 60 dexterity. Not too bad. And then we've got a long sword. Militia short. Wow, that's really bad. A fine short sword and a fine long sword as well. Also, the ring of magic. But we want to buy this mole rat fat for later. Not a specific cause right now, but you will see what I mean much, much later. And then, we are going to sell all the other things that we don't need. Especially the swords, the axe, some of these things. We're going to keep the bow for now. But we're going to sell the crossbow bolts. We don't need them at all. We're going to keep like 5B as in our inventory, just to be sure for later. You never know who needs beers. Gonna sell this. Gonna keep the gold nugget. Gonna keep the old coins as well. Gonna sell the acromen, the sheep skin, and these two wolf skins. That should do nicely. And then we shall open up these clams. Pearl number one. Nothing there. And no pearl in the other one. Hey. But at least we got one out of it. All the crates still there? Don't touch anything or I'll call the watch. Got it? Yes, I do. What do you have then? Right, I'm gonna say the pearl. Eighteen gold. Well, we're close to seven hundred. Which would be possible to buy a sword with. Not one to one to at this point, but still. Right, so we're going to end the episode here, and when we come back, folks, we're going to talk to Vatras about the missing people, because we've now found out a few things that he might be interested in. So, I will see you all next time.